We have a few more things we have to pick up for the baby's nursery. I am 20 weeks today and I am so excited. Hello everyone, it's Karen and I'm here with my mom today. And yes, we are in a U-Haul truck because if you've been watching our previous vlogs, you know that we just recently moved into our dream forever home. So we're renting a truck and we're gonna go out and we are getting um, a bed that we're gonna keep in the nursery because I always like to have a bed in the nursery because I end up sleeping in there a lot. At least I did with Layla Jane. And we're also getting a dresser that's also like a changing table. So we need to get those two things and get them up into her little nursery. But another thing while we're driving there, I thought I would talk about that I am now officially halfway through this pregnancy. Woohoo! I finally reached that halfway point. Although I feel like I should be further along, but that's okay. I'm getting there. Everything's been going pretty well so far. Um, I still obviously have the inguinal hernia, which some women get when they're pregnant. I had it with Layla Jane and now I have it again. So that's kind of just the only bad thing right now. I'm still dealing with that and pretty painful, but you know, I'm working through it. Another odd thing that I think is I still don't have any real cravings. Most women by this time definitely have certain things they're craving. I know I did with Layla Jane. Now it, I don't. There's nothing that I'm really craving at all. And I still haven't really felt the baby kick. I'm still waiting for that. It seems kind of odd that it's 20 weeks and I haven't. Um, but nothing really that I was like for sure knew like, oh yeah, that was definitely the baby. So still waiting on that. Maybe this week will be the week. One thing it did say is the baby is now about the size of a banana, about 10 inches long. And this is the week where they actually start measuring the baby from feet to head instead of rump to head. So that's why all of a sudden it seems like my baby is so much bigger than she was last week. Cause last week they said six inches. Also their taste buds are in training. They can now transmit taste signals to their brain. Right now I should be gaining about one pound a week. I might be having itchy skin from stretching and restless sleep, which I kind of do have, but I think a lot of that too is just the stress of moving. Maybe it's the pregnancy, but I think a lot of it's just <laughs> moving to and trying to get unpacked and settled into a new house. That is it kind of for me for 20 weeks. I feel like there hasn't been any significant thing. I do have a doctor's appointment tomorrow where I believe I'm getting ultrasound. Just got the mattress picked up and dropped off back at our house and we're on our way to get the changing table now. It's like a changing table slash dress dresser and it's Pottery Barn. So I'm super excited I found this. I found it, someone's selling it off Facebook Marketplace. And I get a lot of stuff from Facebook Marketplace and secondhand. Um, I just feel like there's no point. A lot of the stuff is in great condition. I don't wanna go spend full price on things. So I'm always scouring the Facebook Marketplace seeing if I can find anything. Cause especially with my hernia, I can't be lifting a lot. So hopefully it won't be too bad or else mom, you're gonna have to chuck the whole thing into the truck. It's way too heavy to pick up. There's no way, even if I was healthy and didn't have a hernia, I could pick that up. So we're actually in my mom's old neighborhood. So she's calling, texting some of her friends right now, see if anyone can come help us. And I just posted on the Facebook page, um, just randomly seeing if anyone is around and can come help us put this into our truck. I love the dresser, so we gotta get this. <laughs> Yay, one of our old neighbors just volunteered to come up. Um, hopefully they know it, it's very heavy. <laughs> so they, I don't know if they know what they're getting into. We owe them Thank big time. the best job I get to play with the doggy while they lift it <laughs> this is Bentley Mwah. it's our neighbor's new dog he's a Bernadoodle come here Bentley are you just a puppy oh they're doing a good job too they just got the dresser in <laughs> thank you the movers just came yesterday so we have a lot of stuff in here that I was just kind of like telling them, just put it in the nursery and then I'll sort through it later. It's actually a lot of Layla Jane's clothes 
that I kind of want to rearrange and maybe donate some and get rid of some. We do need to get everything kind of put together. So I'm thinking the bed's gonna go over there, the changing table here, and the crib here. Today I'll probably just do the bed and get the changing table up. And then I am gonna do a whole vlog getting her room set up and getting the crib and everything like that, but that'll be another day. For now though, I do wanna get the bed put together though. So I just got the frame put together and I was coming downstairs to get the box spring and not the mattress yet because the mattress is way too heavy. Um, we actually just left it out in our front yard. Layla's out there on the mattress with her friend and they asked me if we're gonna keep it out there because they like it. So I'm sure the neighbors would love that. All right, this is gonna be really tight. We have the full right here and then maybe the dresser will go there, and then the crib here. But maybe down the road we'll end up getting a day bed, but we did get this bed for free from a friend, so I'm really thankful and appreciative for that, so I wanna try to make it work. But I, I think we can make it work, it's just gonna be super tight. But we just need to get the dresser up here now and the mattress, and then we'll put the crib together another day. <laughs> we have the best neighbors in our new neighborhood. So they just came over, drop of a hat, and helped us move over this heavy mattress and the dresser. So now everything's up in the room. I just need to make the bed and eventually get the crib together, but it's coming along. Hey, what's wrong? Uh, uh, I want some wrapping paper for get you and her present. Oh, I'm getting a present? Yep. Grandma's birthday today. Awesome, yesterday is Grandma's birthday. Yeah. Apparently we all get presents. I don't know what she's wrapping for us, but this should be interesting. I got this bed for free, which was fantastic. That dresser from Pottery Barn, got it for a hundred bucks. And then this beautiful crib, um, Fisher Price got it for 50 and it converts to a toddler bed too. So I love Facebook Marketplace. That's where I get a lot of stuff. So if you don't go on there already, I suggest it. You can find some really good deals on there. All right, now let's go see what Layla is wrapping for us. So I couldn't find our wrapping paper, but we did just move here. So we have lots of, um, well, moving paper. So this is gonna have to work. So Layla, who is this gift for? What is in grandma? I, well, don't, I know. don't know until I unwrap you it. You chose the gift. Should we un oh. should grandma unwrap it now? Yay. I'm excited to see what it is too. And I love how you have a camera now too. Can grandma open her present now? I'm dying to see what's in there. No. Okay. okay. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go down, go downstairs. Get, oh. Uh, you can be able to open your present. Okay. Oh, she has to open it downstairs? Mine, this is not yours. Oh, so I can't come? Well, she wants me to stay up here and I'm not gonna argue if she wants me to stay up by myself. Might get like two minutes peace and quiet. <laughs> Better enjoy this, especially before the second baby comes. All right, well that was really fast, but that's okay. So what's gonna be in my present? Well, what should I get? While you do it, I know that the table is in there. Oh, okay. Well, I wrap my own present. Layla, can I have the teddy bear and the Rolling Stone shirt? I think that's pretty cool. Find me something good. Uh, 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 someone's calling me. Oh, uh, we keep getting distracted from my present. Today, I got work. Oh, you have some work today? Hello. Who is your name? Grandpa? Rob, okay. Oh, okay. Well, I'll let you talk. Anyway, so glad that I got that set up and um, can't wait for my 20 week appointment tomorrow. So again, I'm going to try to film that tomorrow. So hopefully um, we have good news and I think I'm doing an ultrasound tomorrow. This sounds horrible, but I kind of forget what each appointment is for and if I'm doing an ultrasound, if I'm not. Um, I was much more on top of it with the first pregnancy. This one, I'm just kind of rolling with it. Um, but we'll see. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Just got to my doctor's office getting ready to go in for my 20 week appointment ultrasound. And normally Brian would be with me. He would totally want to be here for this, but the surge in COVID cases right now, our doctor's office is not allowing anyone else to come, only the patients. Just 
left the doctor's office. Everything went great. I'm so excited. They said that she was very busy and moving around a lot. And I asked though why I can't feel her. I haven't felt her kick or anything if she's that busy. And I'm already 20 weeks. And they said that my placenta is on top. That makes it a little bit more cushion. So later on, as she gets a little bigger and stronger, I'll be able to feel some more. So anyway, so glad to hear that everything's going smoothly and nothing to be worried about right now. All right, you guys, thank you for watching my 20 week update and I'll see you at 21 weeks, bye.